So much good news, guys. We're in the month of July now. What? Hey, guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my Buhai squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Yes, it's a bright and sunny day. Sorry, I'm wearing a shirt with my name on it. Got this from a creator event here in the Philippines. Isn't that funny? Um, having my morning coffee. Mm. And guys, today is going to be an epic day because um, RJ's family is coming to visit us here. Now this is family from South Cotabato, which is another part of the Philippines. Um, they've flown in to Luzon Island, this island here. And they're coming. There's like 15 of them, RJ says. So that's going to be cool. Um, you guys have actually seen and met some of them in the vlogs um, when we visited South Cotabato and performed there, remember? Um, but yeah, guys, welcome to another vlog. Yay! Here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Yes, the home that my partner RJ and I built over the past five years. It took so long. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But we can finally enjoy the finished, completed home now. But guys, I really love this corner. This particular corner here, just adjacent to the pool. It's got a nice lounge chair here that we got um, from Luxine Living. So Philippine made, Philippine brand. And it's so like, it's so zen guys. Like it's just, the, it's, it's perfectly framed by these large plumeria plants and that bird beak plant. Don't remember the name of it. It's so pretty. And then guys, look, when you go inside, watch. Inside, it's so like a cute little nest. It's like perfect napping environment. See, there's a little window there you could peek out of and look at plants. A cute window there. And it's got a nice view of the home. And I hear, I hear nails. Hey, Sives. There's Cypher, our small dog. It's just so cute. I love these little windows. I can look up at the trees. These here are, um, well, we've been calling them acacia, but they're actually, their English name is rain tree. They call them rain trees because when it rains, they droop. Like at night, the leaves droop. It's a South American introduced species of tree. And they're all over the property. They just, they were here first actually, see? And they hug the house. And we had to make the decision on whether or not we were going to cut them down uh, before we started building. And we said, no, let's keep them. These trees are old. They're home for birds and animals and they help keep the soil, you know, nice and tight. So we don't have like landslides or, you know, and they're good for keeping floods away because they drink a lot of water and it's just, we'll have trees. And then people said, oh no, during typhoons, this will be dangerous for your house. We've gone through a couple typhoons last year and no, nothing. In fact, with these trees hugging our home, it blocks a lot of wind. Like back when I used to live in a condo and the typhoons would come, our windows would kind of like vibrate and shake from the wind. But with these trees here all shielding us, actually all around the property, it's like they hug the house and they protect us during these crazy typhoons. Here's the kitchen, there's RJ, ready for his family to come. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. And then made some fresh coffee. Oh guys, here's some trivia. Not sure if you guys um, saw the vlog where I talked about this. This here is older than me. It was a gift to my parents on their wedding. Isn't that crazy? And I use this every day. And it like works perfectly fine. It's awesome. Playing some Mozart on our Echo. I love listening to Mozart in the mornings. Set the tone. I remember in my high school, I went to a, um, an all boys Catholic private school in Toronto called St. Michael's and the priest who taught us religion was also a big like musician orchestra guy and he always used to told me, tell me his name was Father Zinger Father Zinger used to always tell me that listening to Mozart will make you more intelligent <laughs> guys look at this see those bananas oh they are looking great and guys, you know, it takes a long time. It takes several months for the, like, since we first saw the banana flower to this. This take, that took a while. We gotta, you really have to be patient. It's like three or four months. 
So as soon as one of those start to turn yellow, that's when we can kind of chop the whole thing off and allow everything to ripen. Because if you wait too long and they like all get yellow, sadly bats will usually find it and you'll find some of the bananas eaten by bats. And guys, you want to hear something else cool? So once that banana bunch is picked, that entire tree from which it was growing will die. Like it's done. It's the end of its life. Each one of these banana stalks bears like a fruit and then after that it dies. But what's cool is it always sends out new baby banana trees. Like see this here? That's a baby and there should be one more somewhere. They're like new ones always sprouting up from the ground. And look, this one actually is coming from one that was cut down already from a past harvest. So it's awesome. It's always self-renewing. This batch of bananas has been here for years and we don't have to replant or anything. It's just always giving us... It's the tree that keeps on giving. Oh, so pretty. This um, bird of paradise. Isn't that cute? Love that plant. So speaking about plants and sorry I'm on this whole botanics, you know, botanical terrain right now. But um, the grass we have here is called frog grass. It grows outwards and not up, so we don't have to mow it. However, what we do have to do is pull out these extra weeds that will grow. See? You gotta pull them out. And we could always feed that to whatever herb herbivorous animals we have. So Billy will eat those. Um, my various like feeder insects will eat those. Let's check out our pot pond. Oh, flourishing. Oh my gosh, look at the little fish. Lots of little baby fry. And look at the floating plant. It completely fills this now. Crazy. So this is a cool little ecosystem that we started. And look, some frog eggs, how cute. So there are tadpoles in here, um, snails. And what's cool is the uh, lotus and this floating plant here, or inside, it feeds off the waste that the animals create in the water. So we don't have an imbalance and we have no algae in here. There is zero algae in this pond. And because there are um, guppies in here, like fish, little tiny fish, they eat all the mosquitoes. So there are no mosquito larvae in here either. It's a wonderful, wonderful little pond in a pot. And I do know birds come here and they have drinks and all of that. It's just really, really great. Self-sustaining, no filter. Oh guys, gotta check my little peppers. Yay, they're so big now. You guys are growing so fast. Guys, this here is uh, called Sili Demonio. It's a hybrid of our native uh, Philippine chili peppers called Sili Labuyo and uh, Carolina Reaper from the US. So it is spicy. So I can't wait for this to grow because I want to harvest some of our own. This here is our massive basil plant. Like it's so big. We harvest from it often. It just grows like a weed. It's crazy. Um, we should make lots of spaghetti and pizza and stuff soon so we could harvest more. This here is Serpentina. Guys, if you ever have diarrhea or if any, any of our guests from abroad come here and they have like, you know, diarrhea from the food or water or anything like that, we just boil this. It's so bitter, it tastes so gross, but it makes the diarrhea go away. It's awesome. Love Serpentina. This here is Lavender. Oh, guys, if you were to pick this and smell it, it smells so good and relaxing. Guys, we don't know what this is. So my mom bought this <laughs> and she planted it here in the herb garden and it's grown so big, but I don't know what it is. It, RJ says it's some kind of herb. Mommy, what is this? Any of you guys know Mabuhay Squad? Yeah. Good, morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. All right. Hi. What are your names? What's your name? Adam. Hello. 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 Welcome. Come in. Come in. Guys, this is... This is yeah. RJ's family. Oh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, po. Hi. So, guys, this is RJ's family. OMG, guys, I'm so excited. RJ's cousins are cooking rendang for us. <gasps> Love. So, um. There's your cook. Yay. Thank you, Kuya. I can't wait. Oh, wow. Mmm, guys, coconut. Uh, cream or milk, there's meat, hot peppers, bell peppers, ginger. <gasps> I can't wait. 
So I guess all of RJ's family cooks. Yes. <laughs> you guys are all cooked, the Garcias. Yes. Guys, giving them a tour, just very casually. Guys, I love listening to RJ give a tour. Because usually, like, when my friends are over, it's me giving a tour. And then, but now that it's RJ's family, he gives the tour. And the way he t gives the tour is very different from the way I do it. Because I like to tell stories along with the tour. <laughs> and RJ is very just like, okay, this is this, this is that. It's very quick, very casual. All right, taking the gang upstairs. <laughs> Good morning, Melody. Hiya. This is Melody, our farm cat. Yes. Ever since feeding her like legit cat food, look at her. She's gotten nice and fat and healthy. Mm-hmm. She's also had an anti-tick and flea, so no more fleas. And also deworming. No worms. Yes. We will also be neutering her soon because she rec recently had kittens. Um, and I think she killed them. Well, we don't know who actually killed them. It wasn't our dogs, by the way. It was on the side lot where our dogs don't go. Could have been a rat, could have been another cat, could have been, I don't know, another stray dog, not sure. Um, but we suspect that it was her who killed the kittens because I learned from you guys that that happens. So yeah, we'll be neutering her soon, spaying her. But I don't think we can do it just yet because she just gave birth, like, not too long ago. But guys, speaking of animals, man, like ever since our f official farmhouse tour video went up, did you guys see that video? People everywhere have been offering us animals. <laughs> our friend Tina offered us a giant poodle um, that was being given to her or something like that. Just animals that need homes. There are lots of animals, guys, out there that need adoption, that need rescuing that need homes because like, you know, sometimes people's lives change and they need to get rid of dogs or they can't keep them anymore, sadly, because financial situation changes, etc. Change of location, of living space. So um, several people have reached out to us. They're like, we love your farm and we would love to your animals to live there, our animals to live there as well. So guys, um, we obviously aren't taking them all. We, we're only taking those that we feel like we can responsibly home and yeah like the ones that we probably are taking in at the moment are an iguana a new iguana will be coming here a blue iguana at that a sugar glider which is rj's dream pet um and a turtle to live in our pond so expect some new little critters coming in uh to live here at the mabu high squad farmhouse speaking of iguanas there is the iguana pen of adam and eve and they will soon have a friend, a blue friend. I have to gauge whether or not they can be mixed. If not, the blue iguana will have to have its own enclosure, at least for a little while. The pool is all ready to go and ready to entertain our guests, RJ's family. According to RJ's app, water is crystal clear and clean. Gosh, guys, look at Ligaya's path. It's so beautiful. I love the cascading plants on the side. Doesn't it look like a fairy tale? Like this looks like it could be a walkway for a wedding. So beautiful. I love rainy season. You know, before I used to be like, ah, rainy season um, here in the Philippines. But you know, the plants really thrive at this time of the year. Like they shrivel up and they kind of die in the summer when there's like little to no rain. And then during rainy season, that's when they're living their best life. The rain trees really like bloom and all the trees and plants have their growth boom at this time of the year. Really, really, really gorgeous. All right, I guess they're in the bedroom part of the tour. Let's see. They're now here in the walk-in closet area. <laughs> Everyone's chilling. <laughs> oh, wow, the kids know how to use the Alexa. <laughs> I'm interested to see how RJ will do the tour in the anteroom. He's telling them not to touch any tubes. <laughs> this is the museum part of our home. <laughs> I love seeing how fascinated people are with ants and creatures. 
You know, before I used to think people wouldn't care about my ant collection, and I thought like most people would find it really boring and just nerdy. But no, people seem really interested in the ant setup. So I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> that's very cool. I like that. Teaches kids about science and the importance of ants in ecology. Ants are awesome, guys. I love seeing the kids' reaction to the net floor. Go! Go, go, go! Go on it! You can walk on it, it's safe. See? Yes! Ooh! You guys are like spiders! There's Valentino, our snake. What snake is this? Green tree python. OMG! Uh, yeah. There's a glass floor. I like panic a little bit when people step on it, but it apparently can hold a lot of weight. <laughs> she asked what the capacity of the net floor is, and I said, I don't know, let's try. <laughs> but the guy who made it for us assured us that it will hold a lot of weight. Okay, up next is the roof deck. Guys, I love this room. And you know what? Plants really flourish. No matter where we put it, see the plants grow well. See guys, see those new leaves? Flourishing. Every plant, no matter where in the room. Like even down there, even the plants here on this corner. It just gets a lot of natural, awesome sunlight, especially in the mornings. See, new growths. Plants just do so well here in the ant room. Okay, kids, who's ready to swim? All right. <laughs> Guys, this is Shirley and Revy, RJ's cousins, and they're going to sign a peg. Go sign, sign, sign. Guys, I'm so excited about this rendang. Look at all these healthy ingredients. Freshly chopped chili peppers, freshly chopped garlic, freshly chopped onions, and freshly chopped bell peppers. That is so healthy. OMG, look at this. <gasps> what kind of meat is this? Beef? Mmm, guys, beef rendang. <gasps> All right, kids in the pool. Sweet. Hi, guys. Hello. OMG, Mabuhai Squad. You should smell what the house smells like right now. <gasps> that rendang, the spices, the beef rendang. Let's go. Mm. You guys know beef rendang, right? It's like an Indonesian dish. Mm. Smells so good. The beef rendang smells so good. Thank you. Thank you, Kuya, for cooking. <laughs> He's watching YouTube videos on the smart mirror. Mmm. Let's try. <gasps> Look. Mmm. 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 Yes. Mmm. Can we? Oh my gosh, it's so tender, the meat. Okay, let's eat. Mmm, oh my god, mmm, <laughs> so good, mmm, mmm, oh my gosh, mmm, so garlicky, did you put ginger in here, or, mmm, yeah. yeah. I, I taste it, it's so healthy, mmm, <laughs> mmm, hot peppers, Woo. just a little bit of kick, mmm, mmm, my boys bought this beef rendang, Five Mobu High Stars. Mm, and it's home cooked. Guys, today is an Islamic holiday. It's yeah. called Eid al Adha. Yeah. So, do you say Happy Eid al Adha? Yeah, we say. Oh, hap or you could say Eid al Adha or Eid, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak to all. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the Muslims have two. Uh, What's this uh, feast? They have two feasts. Yeah, the, the, the Idul Fitr. Idul Fitr. And the Idul Adha. Idul Fitr is Adha. the end of Ramadan. Okay, when the, you have to fast, the yeah, bath. after the fasting. Okay. Idul Adha is after the Hajj. You know, they're, they're doing the pilgrimage right now. I see. In Mecca. In Mecca. Yeah, this is the end. Oh, the okay, I see. Interesting. <laughs> So there are only two very important holidays, holidays. These for Muslims. Yeah. I see. Interesting. Well, there you go. Happy Eid al Adha to all of you, is uh, Islamic Mabuhai squad. Yes. So here in the Philippines, um, a lot of the country is 
Christian or Catholic, but there's a part of the Philippines that is greatly Muslim, which is where they're from. And so we as a country also celebrate the Muslim holidays as part of our calendar. Guys, so I'm looking at the app on RJ's phone called the Mabuhay Pool. <laughs> and guys, look, see, this is the breakdown of our pool. Um, temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. It gives us a breakdown. Water is in great shape. Congratulations, no rush. See, isn't that cool? So I'm gonna hop in the pool. All right, so it was a huge thunderstorm earlier, so it completely rained. Um, but despite all that, water is great, and I am going to hop in the pool. It's still spitting. So look, if you look at the surface of the water, still spitting, but I love swimming when it's like this. It's so refreshing. The warm water mixed with the raindrops that are kind of cold, so refreshing. Now this pool doesn't have a heater. We didn't really invest in that. Um, but like it soaks up so much heat during the day, like when the sun's out, it stays warm. RJ's family is just inside the house, hanging out, as you can see, running around, watching internet, talking and all that. They had a fun day at the pool, but I use the pool for two things. One, to do cardio. So instead of running on a treadmill at the gym, I now just do like laps um, and swim in the pool. And I also use it as a, an opportunity to meditate and do my like affirmations, speaking to God, prayers, all of that. It's a great way to de-stress and um, get in touch with the spirit, right? For spirit health, I recite my mantras and just get in touch with the universe. That's what I love using this pool for. Oh, guys, water is so good. Oh, love it. Oh. You know, I'm so glad we got this pool. I keep saying this. But at first I was like, RJ, let's not get a pool because it will just be extra expense. It'll be hard to maintain. Cause these are things that like I learned growing up as a kid. Cause my Tito Henry on my dad's side had a pool and I saw how hard it was to maintain their pool. So like I grew up in life thinking, okay, pool equals high maintenance, more expense. However, the technology nowadays is so good. For example, we don't have to manually vacuum. We have a robot that can do that now. Crazy, right? And all parameters, as you saw on the app, you could just read directly on an app. This is a smart pool. Um, so yeah, really grateful for the tech for pools nowadays. And again, healthy, it's fresh water, uh, fresh water system. Um, and if you guys also want to check out the fresh water system that we use, check out EnviroSwim uh, pH. They're an awesome company based here in the Philippines and um, the technology is an Australian tech for pools. Guys, look at how peaceful everything is. And I don't know if you could see it, but there's steam floating from the top of the water. Everything is so placid. And this is the time when all the birds emerge from the forest. They're all coming out now. Uh-oh, I hear thunder. I'm gonna have to go inside soon. But I've been swimming here now for about 30 minutes. That's good, that's like 30 minutes of cardio. Even better than 30 minutes on the treadmill. Cause swimming guys is low impact, like for the joints. So like if you're getting old like me, <laughs> it's good. Even if you're not old, it's a good form of exercise. And plus it uses your whole body instead of like just your feet. Guys, look at what RJ's cousins gave us. What is this called again? It's called Kulintan. Pol Kulintan? Kulintan, yeah. It's a Kulintan. musical instrument yeah. of the Maranaos from the, the people of the lake and the Maguindanao. I see. Wow. It's a mini version, guys. Yeah, it's a miniature. And um, it's a native Filipino instrument. How great. And, and those designs on the side mm -hmm. is called Ukil. Okil is the name of the design. Yeah, yeah Okil. Oh wow! Oh, it's gonna. It looks so good. This is gonna look so good in our you see this home. On the royal houses of, you know, the sultan. Oh, I see. It's like a royal and this one instrument. On the side, sometimes they call it the. Uh, uh, they call it the dragon head. I see. 
Wow. I really love it. It's so culturally relevant, guys. What a great gift. Thank you. <laughs> and guys, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures <laughs> here in the living room area. <laughs> Picture time. <laughs> Done. What's up, Mabuhay Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, so guys, yesterday happened to be the birthday of Canada. Yes, happy Canada Day. Um, all of you fellow Canadians out there, it's Canada Day weekend. So you guys have a holiday weekend, I believe. Could be wrong, it's been a while. I don't remember, but hope you guys are having a safe Canada Day weekend. Um, and all you Americans are winding up for 4th of July, Independence Day, so the birthday of the U.S. So that's coming up, so uh, happy advanced um, Independence Day for all you Americans watching. Um, and to celebrate Canada Day, I'm wearing my favorite jersey given to me by my high school friend Byron. You guys remember him when he came to visit and stay here. And it's red, see? So it's like the visiting color, not the home color, he told me. And I'm like, oh, I miss Canada. Um, and downstairs, we have some special guests. Good morning. morning. Ed, Mark, and Nika, and Ate Elsie are here. Let's turn on the lights. Morning, guys. Good morning. And happy Canada Day. Happy Canada. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yes, see? Amazing. Some pineapple. Wow, healthy eggs and pineapple. Yes, yes to that. Um, RJ's busted out the Canadian furniture, you see. And guys, look at Ed Mark and Nika's newest dog. I'd like you to meet Billions. Hi, Billions. She's the sweetest dog ever. And guys, doesn't she look like Sahara a little bit? She looks like she's related to our small dogs, but she's not. She is what breed? Oh, Palm Yorkie, and you are just the sweetest, sweetest girl. Oh, yeah, this is Billions. I love your name. <laughs> so, hi, Billions. Welcome to the Mabuhai Squad Farmhouse. Make yourself at home. Um, where are the other dogs, guys? Like, this house is like a dog haven. Heading outside to the yard, we have more Canadian furniture. Guys, check this out. Wow, beautiful butterfly. Look at how nicely the garden is filling in. Love rainy season. Canadian pillows. We've busted it out. Yesterday we had steak and hamburgers. Canada, eh? <laughs> Love it. Guys, I so miss Canada. It's been, I think the last time we were there was 2018 um, or possibly 19. So it's been a while. It's been four years, like pre-pandemic. Usually RJ and I try to visit Canada while well, my home, Toronto, at least once a year uh, but it's been so long we're gonna try to make it later this year um because guys i miss home i miss my family i miss my friends there i miss all the places we used to hang out i just want to go hang out at yorkdale mall and eaton center and just hang out i'm really grateful to have been born and raised and like spent most of my life in canada it's an awesome country and i'm proud to be a filipino canadian also guys, another thing to celebrate is the channel hit 300,000 subscribers. Wow, OMG, yay. Thank you guys so much uh, for the support, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. Please join our family, the more the merrier. And yeah, that's all great. Uh, what else? So much good news guys. We're in the month of July now. What? We're in the second half of the year. Um, also, another thing that RJ and I discovered was we checked the date that we first moved in here, like officially, like st stayed and slept over overnight. Guys, it was in July last year, meaning we've been here for one year now. What? It's been a year? My boy, Scott, it's been a year since we've lived here? Where did this year go? Honestly, time flies when you're having so much fun. Um, but I did go back to the vlog when we first moved in and yeah, there was so much work that was like not 
it didn't look like this. The house was like, I, I would say 80% finished. We didn't have any of this, no pool, no garden, nothing. Um, so we've really come a long way with this place and I'm just really grateful to have been part of an, in, an incredible mind-blowing journey. It's been hard at times and, um, well, a lot of times. Building this place was really challenging for our minds and mental health as well. I don't know, like, so, you'll, I'll probably never completely share the story of building this place, but it was tough. But anyways, yeah, it's been a year. Wow, one year. Hi, Cokes. There's Coco and Billions. I'm sure Coco is just so happy to have a new young playmate. Coco is the biological twin sister of our dog Sahara. They were part of the same litter. Here in the aviary, and guys, look. Do you guys see that? That's Clara and probably Ruby or Scarlet just hanging out at the top. It is so good to see the big birds now flying to the top of the aviary. Hi there. <laughs> this is probably Ruby? I don't know, I can't even tell the Conyers apart anymore. They're all the same color. Even the blue nape parrots, I cannot tell them apart. Kinda, like just right away. I can usually tell just by their behavior because Clara up there now has all her wing feathers and tail feathers. So proud of her. But it's hard to tell them apart. Well, I think this here is Marcelo because he's really big. Like he's the biggest of the blue napes, so he's the male. So guys, just some news about the aviary. Um, we're building another aviary outside. Now that aviary outside on the side lot was gonna be for songbirds. Songbirds, by the way, are birds that don't have the curved hook bill like parrots. But RJ and I said, hey, why don't we swap the birds out so that these parrots can enjoy the true outdoors um, also, the reason why that would be great is because songbirds do not destroy trees and plants like hookbills do. Um, and RJ and I have checked our accounting <laughs> and um, turns out it's been an expensive venture having to always buy new plants, new trees, swapping out trees that end up dying. It's not the most cost effective way. Um, people who have parrots generally don't mix them with trees because parrots need to constantly chew things to wear down their beaks. Um, like as you can see, they're chewing wood. All of you parrot owners know. Um, so we're probably gonna build them an outdoor aviary. We'll still see them every day. And then we will move songbirds in here. So we could have minas in here. We could have canary. Um, what else? There are like a ton of songbirds, different finches. Uh, flying around and those birds do not destroy plants so this aviary can be lush again with trees and plants and hanging plants and all of that because right now this is not the most cost effective way to do things in fact we're actually thinking of building two aviaries outside one for smaller parrots and another for like medium parrots whether or not I'm ready for large parrots like macaws and even like cockatoos I don't think so, I'm not sure. Those are a pretty big deal. Good morning, Morans. Hi, Miranda, good morning. This here is the teacup chihuahua of Ed, Mark, and Nika, and the mom of two of our dogs, Cypher and Sahara. <laughs> yes, Billions, that's, is this your, is this your ate? Hmm? <laughs> we have these cute, um, dog beds from Jed Yabut for our guests' dogs to just lounge as they see fit. This one seems to be the favorite of everybody, this middle bed here. Filipino made, and as you can see, the dogs have already enjoyed chewing it. <laughs> What's up guys, we're in the pool, and joining us is RJ and Sives. <laughs> Look at Cyber. he's already paddling. Hey Sives. Good boy. The only dog to enjoy the pool. No. <laughs> it's fresh water, but we'd prefer he drinks his normal water. Hey, Sykes. Good boy. 
<laughs> you're a good boy, Sykes. You're a good boy, Sykes. You're a good boy, Sykes. Try to go in the pool once a day. Honestly, guys, there's something about being in the water that is so, like, cleansing. Like, I could be so tired um, or just, like, low energy. And then as soon as I get in the pool, guys, something about it, something about dipping your head underwater and swimming through the water, like everything's quiet and you're swimming underneath the water. Guys, it's like suddenly this explosion of vitality. I love this pool. It like wakes us up every day. So Cypher now knows where all the safety platforms are in case he were to fall in. See, watch, let him go. Let him go and don't show him where to swim. Let's see. Careful, Saiz. Hi, Saiz. You want to swim? Come on, jump. He's not at that stage yet. Let him go, but don't push him in the direction. Just like, let go. Let go now. See, he knows. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yay. Good boy, Saiz. So smart. See? Teaching the small dogs where to swim can save their life. It's one of the reasons why we wanted to get an infinity pool because, I mean, if either of our small dogs hop in, this edge here can really save them. And also this edge, this walkway here too. So guys, RJ is going to swim. Look at how far along he's come with his swimming journey. No touching the bottom, head underwater. See, he's doing awesome. Yay! Sweet. So for those of you who don't know, RJ um, has a phobia of swimming. Cause as a kid, he fell in like a canal or a river trying to catch tadpoles or something like that. So it, he's come a long way guys. Yay, guys, Nika swimming! <laughs> Edmark's here. And uh, guys, we're having coffee. What time is it? Oh, it's still early. We can have coffee. Cut. Thank you. All right. Guys, cheers. Guys, they're both very good swimmers. And Edmark learned to swim in this pool. Thanks, coach. No, you did it. You learned. Coach Mikey knows. <laughs> Guys, we're also listening to music here. Right now it's Robin dancing on my own. A gay staple. <laughs> oh no, a bug needs rescuing. There you go. Look at how beautiful that scarab beetle is. Go. Guys, a moose fruit bowl. Hello Canadians. OMG guys, this area here, going to the bathroom, really grew in. I remember when they were first wanting to plant these kinds of plants here, I'm like, they're not gonna thrive in this dry, super hot corner. Okay, it turned into a jungle, guys. And I'm just worried about like vipers, like green tree snakes. That needs to be cut. <laughs> guys, here in the bathroom by the pool, and look, hey. angel wings. <laughs> we saw this at the store and I'm like, RJ, let's put it on the door into the pool bathroom and people could take mirror selfies with angel wings. Wouldn't that be cool? I think it looks very beautiful there. You'll find these hooks all over the home, in the bathrooms, in the bedrooms, and they're for hanging towels and robes. Um, it's actually by a European artist, a woman, and RJ fell in love with them and I love them too. This here is also the same brand, see? You could hang towels and stuff. Pan de sal! Fresh, and it looks like what? Whole wheat? It has malungay and cheese. Malunga and cheese inside? Yep. Guys, this is Filipino bread rolls. And oh, it smells so good. Fresh, freshly made.
Oh yeah, also, forgot to ask, do you like the new intro of the vlog? For the longest time, for years, it's been the intro of the drone shot of RJ and I here at the farmhouse, but before we had built the farmhouse house. Um, but now that this is all done, we decided, you know what, it's time to redo the intro. So we did, and we hope you like it. Um, we'll probably keep changing it every now and then. Um, but we felt like it needed some updating. Brittany! Hi, Brittany! Brittany, here! Wrong way! Hi, Brittany! I would love for her to swim, but she just doesn't like it. Brittany! This is Brittany's first time on the catwalk. Actually, first time on the dog walk. <laughs> Don't be scared. Good girl. Good girl. Just let her relax. Like, that's how we did it with Cypher. Like, at first it's strange, but then she'll realize this is just solid ground. Yay! Good girl, Brittany. So guys, if you're new, this is Brittany, our Mexican hairless. Xoloit Squintly is the name of the breed. And what's cool about this breed, cool fact, is they evolved in the jungles of Mexico. So they're a really primitive dog with very little tampering like through sele selective breeding by humans. And she's such a sweetheart. Hmm. It's cool, right? She's relaxed now. And as a primitive type of dog, I do notice certain differences with her uh, like compared to our other dogs. One is she uses her hands a lot. She, like her fingers are kind of webbed more than the other dogs and she'll like handle things with her paws another thing too is she climbs things as a puppy she used to climb her little doggy fence we couldn't contain her she's a climber good girl Brittany good girl yeah <laughs> and she's super athletic even though we've uh, spayed her we expected her to gain weight nope she's still lean good girl yeah Hmm. Come on, Rizal, your turn. <laughs> it's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. Come on. Good boy, Rizal. Come. He's like, what? That's not what I expected. <laughs> Come on, Rizal. Good boy. Brittany's like, it's not bad. Come in. Good boy. Rizal's starting to be okay. I mean, Standard poodles are supposed to be good in water. They were bred for water. Come on, Rizal, you could do it. He's like, all right, that's not so bad. How about you, Brittany? You okay? It's not bad, right? <laughs> the dogs are done. Come on, Rizal. Okay. Yay, good boy. Just stay on the. It's harder for him to remain on the catwalk. Good boy, Rizal. Good boy, Rizal. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Go, go. Yeah, he got, he go. understands. Yay. See? Come here. Come here. He understands. Yes. He's kind of nervous, but good boy. He gets okay. it. Yep. Good boy. Come. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Come on, Rizal. Go. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Go. Yes. yes. Guys, he, he's got it. Good boy. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Come here. Come he's come like, here. what? Yeah. Come here. Yes, yes, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep He's going. so cautious. Good boy, Rizal, we're so proud Good of boy. you. So proud of you. Mm -hmm. Rizal's just standing there. I think he's happy just hanging out there. Good boy. <laughs> he's appreciative of his dog walk instructor, <laughs> RJ Garcia. Come on. He wants to go back, but he can't because it's too narrow for him to turn around. But we're trying to show him that if he walks along this way, he can make it all the way down there. Good boy, Rizal. Good boy. Okay, now turn. I mean, poodles are supposed to be really smart, so he'll catch on really fast. Here, this way. You're at the corner now. Come, come, come. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, he got it. Come. Here, come. Oh, him standing like that with his front paw like bent like that looks awesome. He looks like an Irish setter. Finally, he got it. Yes. 
<laughs> Slow and steady. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Go. That's all we needed to do. Move away. Come on. Come on, Rizal. Here. Come. There we go. Just gotta prod him along. There we go. Almost. Come on. You're almost there. <laughs> Guys, it's so gradual. It's like tiptoeing. This is gonna be so gratifying seeing him. Yay! There we go. Good boy. He's like, I wanna come back in. <laughs> Proud of you, Rizal. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. All right, guys, so we're just gonna spend the rest of the evening here in the pool. We'll have a nice dinner and call it a weekend. Mm -hmm. Literally, the vlog is going up in just a few hours. So, just, it's, what? what is it today, a Sunday? It's a Sunday, guys. So happy Sunday once again. Happy weekend, um, all you Canadians. Uh, happy Canada Day, happy 4th of July, all you Americans, and to all the Muslims who are watching, um, happy Feast of the Sacrifice, which recently passed this past week on Wednesday, um, and to all you Mabuhay Squad, who are just celebrating life. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. We really, really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey here at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Um, so, if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And I know you guys have been doing that, so thank you so, so much. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you guys. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Have a great week ahead.